Welcome to week 1, unit 6. Now I will show you how to maximize the value of this course for you. Throughout this course, we will follow and implement one common use case. This use case will be used for creating multiple applications all in one context. In fact, we will create a one full stack application with multi experience application, meaning we have multiple channels to consume this application. We'll start it easy and we keep it like that. The use case. The use case is the famous use case you see in enterprises today, meaning all our employees of our fictional company will enjoy their canteen menu and in order to know what's in the canteen tour today, we will create a mobile application for it. But that's not the only thing we do. In our use case, we have two personas. One is Steve. Steve is the chef. He plans the menu for the upcoming days and weeks and puts it into the system using a mobile application. On the consumer part, we have Sylvia. Sylvia enjoys the food she gets uh, during her lunch and she wants to be up to date with what's in the canteen for today and for tomorrow so we, she uses a mobile application. Obviously, these two personas have complete different experiences and requirements for the application, so we try to choose the best possible development option to serve those requirements. Our architecture will consist of the ba three ba basic blocks we discussed already. We will have a backend. This backend we will create on our own as it is a full stack application and it will be running a Java, it will be a Java application that connects to a Postgres SQL server and to get and store the data and it will expose OData service towards mobile services. We do so by using the SAP Web IDE, a cloud-based development tool, to create the Java application and manage the whole backend system. And we use mobile services to connect to this Java application and expose the API to the mobile devices on the right-hand side. We provide three different applications for the various consumers of our solution. We're using the mobile development kit for data entry, for data entry application where the chef can put in the menu for the upcoming weeks. We're using mobile cards to see or to provide Sylvia a way to see what's in the canteen for today. And we provide a native application which taps into the sensory data of the device to even enrich this use case even more. All this is running on the SAP Cloud Platform mobile services and in the Cloud Foundry environment. In addition to that, we're using trial accounts, one from the new environment, which runs the Web IDE. Secondly, from Cloud Foundry, because the whole solution will run in the Cloud Foundry environment, the database, the service, as well as the mobile services itself. We are using the mobile services and the Postgres SQL server as a way to store our data. On the development side, we are using the Android Studio for the native application. We are using mobile devices to consume the mobile cards as well as the uh, mobile development kit application. On the right hand side here, I have a picture of what services we are using from the cloud platform. So here again, to be more specific, to run the Java application, we are using runtime containers. We are using mobile services, obviously, and the developer experience is basically the web IDE. The developer skill set that you will need as a prerequisite, more or less, is um, general app development capabilities. It does not really matter if you are very good at uh, Java or JavaScript. A fundamental knowledge of development or development languages, programming languages, should be enough to follow the course and be hands-on. Um, in particular, we touch Java development, uh, Kotlin development as well, uh, JavaScript for certain customizations in uh, different 
development options, HTML, style sheets, JavaScript again here for the mobile cards, as well as the whole mobile development kit. In general, a little bit of knowing about the application platform of Android would be very beneficial, but everything you need to know will be provided to you during the course. So, in this course, uh, we have discussed about the SAP Cloud Platform mobile services in general. So, what's the service providing? What is the boundary of the service? As well as what kind of, how does it relate to SAP Cloud Platform itself? We have discussed the development options, native mobile development kit and SAP mobile cards. We have discussed the architectures for mobile app solutions and touched a little bit the security topic. And we have also have dis discussed how to choose the right development approach for your project. This could be, in fact, a very, co um, um, how to say, a discussion that is very difficult for the various teams. But in the end, you will do the right choice, I'm pretty sure. And in this unit, we discussed the use case that we will run throughout the re remaining of the course, the canteen menu, and um, that's it. Basically, this concludes the final unit of week one, how to maximize the value of this course. Thanks a lot for listening. I wish you all the best for the weekly assignment, and I hope to see you next week. There, I will focus on the topic mobile backend. Goodbye.